Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of C-sharp programming. Whether you're a beginner looking to start your coding journey or someone wanting to refresh their knowledge, this video is for you. We'll break down the essentials into five segments. We'll begin by understanding the structure of a C-sharp program. Then we'll proceed to data types and variables. Furthermore, we are going to do operators and expressions. Then we'll proceed to working with strings. And finally, we'll look at the control flow statement. These will be things like if else and switch statements. So let us not waste any time and jump right into it. First things first, let's understand the basic structure of a C-sharp program. A C-sharp program is made up of different elements, including namespaces, classes, methods, and statements. I'll walk you through these components and explain their role in a C-sharp program. What is a namespace? Namespaces are used to organize code into logical groups, and we'll see it as we build our application today. On the other hand, in C-sharp, everything is defined within a class, and we'll talk about what a class is. And methods are blocks of code that perform a specific task. So a method could be like something that would give you the average of any given numbers, would be something that you could use to authenticate a user. That would be a method. And finally, a statement. These are just individual instructions within your code. And now let's move on to a real life coding application. Let us move on to a real life coding example to illustrate these concepts. Suppose one wants to create a simple console application that calculates the area of a rectangle. So I have opened my Visual Studio. I will head over to create a project. Then I'm going to select the console app. So if it's not on your, on your list and projects, it should be on the list here. So you will see console app, a project for creating a command line application that runs on .NET, on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And then you see that this console has a symbol there that says C sharp, and you'll see that on top of here, you've got filters. So you can filter and see maybe all languages. And this would also include things in other languages, like F sharp, you know, Angular, React, uh, and here you could also choose all platforms because now .NET is cross-platform, but we just want to select the console app and you're going to hit next. And like I said, uh, our application wanted to, to calculate the, tr the area of a triangle, so we'll call it rectangle area calculator. You're going to select where you want it to be then the name of the solution. So a solution is just an umbrella that is gonna house uh, your projects. So within uh, a solution, you can have multiple projects. So it's possible. In this case, since there only be one project, I don't mind the name of the project to be the name of the solution. But in, in a, as, we, as we go, you will notice that the solution name has to be somewhat general because it will house a lot. So we're going to go to next. And we're using the Donut 7 framework, which supports close platform. It means you can run it on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So this is the current version. Uh, Donut 8 will be released officially in November. So as of now, in 2023, this is what we'll be using. And because we're starting out, just to click that to say, do not use top level statements because that will show you the main method and you'll be able to understand. If I remove that, there might be a little bit of confusion. So let's go and uh, create that. And by default, you will see that a C -sharp program creates a console, creates this hello world that just prints the screen. So this is just a tradition in any programming language. We just try to create something that is going to write to the console and just say hello world. So 
the first thing I would do here is maybe just try to run this and see what would happen. And when we run that, we'll notice that it will say hello world. In other words, we are telling this program to say, write to the console hello world. But we want to have an application that can calculate the, elect the, the area of the rectangle. But the whole concept of this program is not for us to create a project or a program that is going to calculate the area of the rectangle, but rather we want to understand what is the structure of a C-sharp program. I'm saying this because some of the things I will do here will not make sense now. But as we go, they're going to make sense. So bear with me on things that you don't understand now. As with time, you become a ninja. As with time, you become well-skilled to understand them. So what I'll do here is I'll do something. I'll say, I'll say static, then double. Calculate area with um, with rec with um, calculate rectangle area. Then this will will give it the width and the height. So ideally, in mathematics, if you want to calculate the length of the rectangle, you have two things: you have the width and you have the height. So let's say the width is five and the height is seven. It means the area would be seven multiplied by five, which would be 35 so 35 would be the area of that rectangle and that's what we're trying to do here because programming is the whole concept of taking these real life problems and applying them in a in software so that we can it can now solve that on our behalf then i will remove what c what this did for us then i'll say i want to have a length but for now, I'll just say, let the length be 5. Then I'll say, give me a width. Let's just make it 3. Then I'll say, I want to have the, the area of the rectangle. Then once I do that, I want to write this to the console, where I will say, the area of the rectangle is, then I'll do this, then I'll bring in the area. Okay. So first of all, we're saying, and I will I'll walk you through this, don't worry. We are saying our length is 5, our width is 3, then our area should be 15. So what we'll do, we'll just run it for now and see if it gives us what we're expecting. And there we have it. The area of the rectangle is 15. Okay, great. But like I say, don't worry about the nitty details that are going inside of this. Just focus on the structure of C sharp. Okay. So you will see that at the top here, we have what we call the namespace. And we said the namespace is just a way through which we put, we, we organize our code into logical groups. So we're saying within the namespace of a rectangle area calculator, there will be a class, a class code program, which begins from here and it ends here. Then this is also a class. And we said a class is everything we do in C sharp is defined within a class. So it means this method that performs a specific task, task to return an area or this method that is the main function, all these are housed within a class. Now, I don't want you to, to understand what a class is now, but just know that everything we do in C Sharp has to happen within a class. So here we have internal class program. So we have our namespace called that, then we have our class here. Then we have two methods. So how do you know it's a method? You see that it has a name and it has things we give it. And it has a return type. You see that this one has a name and it has things it receives and it has something it gives back. When we, when we say a method gives back a void, what we mean is it gives back nothing. And a double is just what you would call a number. 
uh, you can look at it as a decimal and we'll talk about that when we get to data structures. So you see that at the core of our program, we have a namespace, we have a class, we have a function. We have two, two functions. There is one function that I want us to take a closer look at, and this is the main function. Now, to make things easy, these things inside are not being used for, for now, so I'll remove those things just to keep it simple and basic. The main method here plays a crucial role, and C sharp is case sensitive, meaning that it has to be written the way it's written. Otherwise, the compiler will not know, right? So the compiler is the thing that takes this code, which we write in English like words, and converts it into a language that the computer understands. So the main method is the entry point of our application. So our application will begin here. For instance, we're saying we want you to keep uh, the length in a container code length, the width in a container code code width, and give that width that value. So these are variables which we'll discuss shortly. And we're saying for the area, we want you to call this specific function, which is this function here, which says, if you give me the width and the height, I will return the width multiplied by the height. So it means the area will give you, we'll, we'll put three here, we'll put five here. And that would give us that. So let's break down a little bit about the main, the main there. So we're saying, what does static mean? Although it could confuse you now, what static means is the class that this function belongs to the class, to this class, rather than an instance of that class. Now that statement might be confusing, don't worry, we'll talk about them. But that's what it means. Now void, like I say, every function has to return something. For instance, this function is returning a number. This main function is returning void, is returning nothing. So the main method has a return type of void, which means it does not return any value. And why would that be the case? Because it's there to simply execute code and then terminate the program using the return statement. So this is that. And main there is just the name of the method. This method here, we are the ones who have created it. But this method comes by default. So whenever you see the name there in two brackets, that is the name of the method. But we said the main method is standardized as main and should always be spelled exactly as this. So C sharp is case sensitive and, and, and how you're going to capitalize it really matters. So inside this main method, this is where we can put the code we want our program to execute when it starts. So when I clicked start there, it saw that, okay, fine, what do I need to do? First of all, I need to keep the length of five. I need to keep the width of three. Then I need to calculate the area of the, of the rectangle. Then once I do that, I have to write the area, which is this guy there, into right that's the logic that we have given in the main now at this juncture i think we pretty much understand how a c -sharp program is structured but remember this is just the beginning of our c -sharp journey in the upcoming segments we would we'll delve into data types variables operators strings and control flows all while building practical applications to reinforce your learning so if you're ready to take your c -sharp skills to the next level keep watching i beg you to keep watching and remember if you find this content valuable please please consider supporting us on patreon to help us continue creating educational videos like this one the link to patreon will be in the description below and the link to the source code as well as the powerpoint presentation will also be in the link in the description below. Thank you very much and happy coding.